guys! So today I am here and it may look a little different on your screen because I have a new camera and I'm so excited. This is like maybe the most excited that I've ever been to make a video because I get to look at this beauty right here in front of my face. And so, um, anyways, so I'm super excited. I was asked if I would do like a review or something maybe of the camera and I'm not opposed to that because I'm really excited to talk about it because it's exciting. So I'm kind of playing around with it so hopefully it doesn't look too weird and yes, so you're going to see some differences I suppose in the upcoming videos as I play with it and get more used to it and stuff. So anyways, um, today I really wanted to talk about Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So I had heard really good things about this book, but I wasn't too excited to read it because I felt like, I didn't know if it was something I was going to like. I don't know. I was kind of hesitant. So I finally picked it up and I liked it. I thought it was okay. I thought, I didn't think it was amazing. I didn't love it, but I didn't like dislike it. I just, I just thought it was okay. You know, just kind of on those books. It was just alright. So I, I'm going to start with like a short a kind of book summary for those of you who have who have not read the book and maybe you'll want to pick it up after this maybe we'll see so beautiful creatures is about Ethan and Ethan is a sophomore in high school and he lives in a little town in the south and he it just it's really boring like everyone knows everyone like the same old things happen all the time um, and he finally gets a new girl in his class which is exciting because that hasn't happened in years and years but not only is it a new girl but it's a girl that he's been seeing in his dreams for like every night and it's really creepy um, because he'll wake up and he'll like he'll be like you know wet and stuff and he'll wake up in his bed and he's actually wet and he will be dripping and he keeps seeing this girl in his dreams and he feels like he's falling in love with her and he doesn't even know her. And he goes to school and she's there. So it's kind of creepy. Basically, the story is just finding out like what Lena is and her odd family. And just kind of like the mystery with that. And Ethan and her. And there's a romance. And yes, I'm not going to say it anymore because... I don't like spoiling books and stuff, you should just pick it up and read it. Um, I know the movie came out just a couple months ago, so a lot of you probably saw the movie. I have not yet. Um, yeah, so just go read the book. If you haven't read it, just go read it and then come back and the rest of us are going to discuss it in detail. So bye! Okay, so I, like I said, I did like the book, but I felt like I started it and it was it was good and I was interested in Ethan and I was interested in the mystery that is Lena and I wanted to know like what she was and it's like then we find out and it's still good but then I feel like the whole middle of the book is just Lena being like throwing a pity party about how her life sucks and her family is cursed and she's just like, I can't change it. And it just made me really frustrated for some reason. And I just like felt like it was very dull and it just drug on. And I just wanted her to shut up. Like I didn't, I did, I just, ah, uh, I feel like nothing really important happened in like the whole middle of the book. I mean, there were some things that would pique my interest and then it'd be over. And I'm like, oh, we're back to Lena being, you know. Ugh. So I really liked Ethan. But I felt like Lena, if, if it really was so hopeless and she had no say in it, I just wanted her to shut up and like accept it and just be like, okay, this sucks, but let's live my life to the fullest until I turn 16 and then it's out of my hands. I can't do anything, so let's just drop it. Let's drop it, okay? Just be happier with Ethan or something. I don't know. Um, and I just was very frustrated, I suppose. Maybe I'm being too hard on her. Um, I'm sure it would suck to just have your fate determined and, you know, whatever. But anyways, so... The whole middle of the book was just blech, but then the ending picked up and it was interesting. Um, I was very irritated though because the entire book you are thinking, oh, it's, you know, she's, I kept thinking she was going to go dark because she didn't want to go dark, and if she went light it would just kind of be like, oh, it's good, and I know there's three more books, so I figured she was going dark, and I spent this whole time reading this, and I keep thinking, okay, she's going to go dark, 
And then she doesn't even, nothing happens. Like, she doesn't even go light or dark. And I was just like, are you serious? Like, what? <laughs> so, I wasn't very satisfied with the ending. Um, I kind of expected it, to be honest. Once we heard the story of, um, like, Ethan and, um, what was her name? Genevieve or something? Well, once I heard that story, it was kind of like a foreshadow to the future. I thought, um, I, th I figured Ethan was going to get hurt, like, really, really bad, where he was going to die, and then Lena was going to have to save him, but in order to save him, she was going to have to go dark. That's what I thought was going to happen. So I figured she was wasting all this time preventing, like, trying to not go dark, and then I felt like the ending was going to happen with Ethan, and she was going to go dark anyways. And it was just, I don't know, the ending was just okay. I mean, the whole thing with Seraphine, like, she didn't want Lena to go light because Seraphine would die. Clearly, the choice should be to go light. I don't understand how an argument can even be made for why she should go dark. It'd be, okay, she could go dark to save her mother. Who cares? Her mother doesn't care about her. She could go dark to save Uncle Macon. Seraphine solved that for her because she set Uncle Macon's brother to kill him. So he's dead. Okay, so she doesn't have to worry about that. Then there's the Ethan deal. And basically she said if she goes dark, she won't have any feelings for Ethan anymore. And she will possibly even kill him. So why would she possibly want to go dark? I don't understand. It's so frustrating. There is no reason for her to. She should have just said, I want to go white right now and it would kill Seraphine, and it'd be over. It, I just, I was so frustrated. I, I did not understand. I feel like Lena is kind of stupid. I don't really like her very much. I like Ethan. Um, I y used to like Uncle Macon, um, but I just feel like it was just... <sighs> okay, so that's my rant. Basically, the beginning was good, the middle was dull, the ending was dumb. Um, I am going to continue, though, even though I just did this, and even though I gave it only a three, I wanted to give it a two, and I gave it a three on Goodreads. Um, I've never given a book or two, I don't think, so I didn't want to do it. But anyways, so I'm going to continue to Beautiful Darkness, and the reason why is because I saw on Goodreads that the first one had the lowest rating, and then it went up for the second one, and then it went up, and then it went up even more for the fourth one. So apparently they're supposed to just get better. I've also heard that from people that have read the series, like themselves. Um, so I am going to continue. I'm not a quitter. Maybe it'll get better. But honestly, if the next one sucks just as bad, I probably won't continue to book three and four. If it sucks just as bad. If it's better, I'll continue. But it just was kind of stupid. Oh, and then at the end we find out she has to wait a whole nother year um, to be claimed on her 17th birthday. I'm like, cool, I get to wait one more, you know, book or year's worth of Lena complain. Awesome. <laughs> so... I'm sorry if this was just a rant and whatever. These are not very common. I usually am just gushing about the awesome book I just read, but... Ugh. Anyways, I'm probably going to see the movie now because I rewatched the trailer after reading the book, and it looks kind of good, so I probably will watch the movie. I probably will pick up... No, I will pick up Beautiful Darkness. And, and yeah, so that was my review. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this book. Let me know what you thought of the movie. Um, let me know if you were frustrated by, frustrated by the ending. Like, it just didn't make sense to me. It just didn't make sense. I don't understand Lena sometimes. I understand she's seriously, like, 16 years old. Okay? But she just doesn't make very much sense to me. She doesn't. So, let me know your thoughts below. Let's chat about it. Let's have a beautiful creatures chat. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to go, but I will see you very, very soon. And I already know my next book review is over Lola and the Boy Next Door. So, yay! That one, spoiler, I don't rant, and I just gush the whole time. I just loved it so much. It was so cute. So, I'm going to go. Bye, guys. Bye!